I've been editing videos and photos for over a decade and I've always just used the keyboard with the shortcuts that I can hardly ever remember. But today is a new day. I wanna tell y'all about this MX Creative Console from Logitech. This is a new editing tool that will adapt to your video and photo editing programs and basically act as an extension to them. It's native to Adobe programs, but not limited to. You can use this thing to control Adobe Premiere Pro, Lightroom, Photoshop, but anyone can essentially create a shortcut profile for any app or program. This is a two device system specifically designed this way so users can have the ability to customize their workspace. It's a beautiful console. It has one large dial, one smaller scroll wheel, and tons of customizable buttons, which have a very satisfying feel. I'll be honest, I thought editing panels were complete gimmicks and I just knew I would never use those. But after using this MX Creative console for a few weeks and customizing it to my needs, I really do love it. As soon as you plug this thing in and connect the dial pad via Bluetooth, it detects your programs for downloading the plugins and profiles. Each program comes with its own default profile on the keypad and the dial pad, but me personally, I fully customize these profiles to my likings and my needs. And if you do decide to pick up one of these creative consoles, I will have my profiles down below in the description where you can download them because you can export your personal profiles. So I'll give y'all mine if you enjoy them. So enough talk, let me jump on the computer and show you how I've been using the MX Creative Console for speed and control. Okay, first off, on the keypad, I have two different pages. And one, you can see it is just the Mac controls to the computer. I can play music, I can change the volume and things like that. If I go to the next page, I have all the apps that I use personally. I have Discord, Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve, but it is native to Adobe products, Premiere Pro, Lightroom Classic, Photoshop. So I can just click this and it's gonna open up the program instantly for me. So as soon as I have Premiere Pro open, as you can see, it gives me a bunch of different options. And like I said, they do come with a default profile, but I've completely changed these to my likings and the things that I use in Premiere Pro. You got new project, you got sequence, you got import. Actually, let's just open up this project right here and let me show you how this thing really speeds things up and how it works. All right, cool, we got a new project, right? So let's just hit sequence. Now we can start a fresh sequence hit okay now we have a sequence started for the timeline that quick boom hit import now we can import clips all right let's start editing okay i want to pull a piece of this clip i don't want to drag the whole thing into my timeline i want to go find where i want to be at right there i want it to start so let's go to this next page and hit mark in and i want it to end right there so we'll hit mark out now let's drag this down into the timeline. Boom, it's super small, so let's use this scroll wheel to zoom down into it. Then I can use this dial pad right here to go scrub down back and forth on the timeline. Let's go back to the first page. Let's hit the razor tool. Let's say I wanna cut it right there. Selection tool click it, and then I hit clear and I can delete it. Already, you can see how fast this is, not even having to take my hand from this controller back to my keyboard to push a bunch of different shortcuts and try to memorize those. I have buttons and scroll wheels and dials that directly affect the tools inside of the program that I need. That's just fire for me or you, anybody that's using Premiere Pro with editing video. I don't even have to take my hand off of this thing. Now, if you wanna customize it, you can. You just open up the Logi Options Plus app you click onto the keypad, customize keys. Up here you have the apps that you're using, Premiere Pro, Lightroom, Photoshop. I'm gonna click on Premiere and as you can see, I have one, two, three pages. You can add up to 15 pages of different direct tools that you use. Let's just say I use a ton of different tools within uh, Premiere Pro or Lightroom, whatever. You can use up to 15 pages and I think that's really cool and all you have to do is hit this arrow key to swipe through them quickly. Me personally, I don't need that many so I'm gonna delete the pages that I just added. I only have three pages, so let's delete these. It's simple, it's quick. You can easily customize your layout. Go back to this first page, we have new project. You can start a sequence, you can import your clips. You can delete a clip once you cut something out. Selection tool, you select whatever you want. Use your razor tool to cut whatever you don't need. Step back one frame and step forward one frame is really cool for me because sometimes I wanna be really precise and click these buttons like this and go and find the exact cut that I wanna make right there. Let's hit the razor tool with the button, hit the selection tool, select it, clear, gone. Next clip, <laughs> fast editing at its finest. Honestly, this thing is crazy how fast it's been improving my workflow. I have save right here, so if I wanna save my project, boom, just save it instantly. We all need to save our projects fast. It's got that button right there, boom, easy. You'll never forget to save your project. I have the enable button right here as well, which is very important for my workflow because when I'm editing music videos, I have layers of performances stacked up on top of each other. So if I wanna view a clip underneath 
this clip right here, boom, just click enable and I'll be able to see the next one. And then I click on the next one, hit enable or disable, and I can just basically hide it or bring it back quickly with this one button. It's so easy. So let's just say you don't want this new project to be right here. You want the import to be at the top. All you do is click on it, drag it to that, and it'll swap out with that. If you don't want that on there at all, you want to take that off of your keypad, you just right click, delete action, it's gone. I'm going to just type in import 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 there it is I'm gonna drag it back in and like I like my new project to be at the beginning and import to be over here so I just swap them just like that click drag over top of and they swap out as easy as that all right let's go over to this dial pad real quick customize buttons for premiere you can see these buttons up here is undo and redo which is great if you make a mistake you can undo it real quick if you made another mistake you can redo it real quick right here you got this little scroll wheel which is a zoom in and zoom out you have this big dial pad which is basically scroll back and forth down your timeline right here is your start your playback so essentially it's like a space bar on your keyboard forget the keyboard you got this you could just hit this and play your clip easy like that start stop start stop all right i'm just gonna click my finder real quick go to desktop now i got this access back to like the controls of the mac go to the next page hit lightroom classic because i want to edit some photos it's going to instantly open up lightroom classic for me oh cool it looks like there's actually an update right here so they're probably making it even better right now so let's update it real quick awesome that quick it took like two seconds to update let's go back open up lightroom classic all right lightroom classic is open let's hit develop mode and then we're going to jump right into the develop mode i got my picture already right here in the middle i have the before and after set because i like to see what i did to the photo so let's push that button you can see before you can see after before after i love the way that looks i'm also able to assign my personal lightroom preset cr preset right here up to the top button so if i want to just drop that preset on my photos instantly because i do use that often i can just do that and it'll drop right on there and then i can start making my adjustments as needed so let's hit that undo button up here on the dial pad undo and then before after all right we're back to where we started all right so i can use this scroll wheel to basically go through the photos that i've taken all right we're back on this photo right Right here let's just say i want to copy these settings i just push that button i can copy it and go to the next photo and i can uh paste those settings right there onto that photo as well undo undo go back to my photo this is so quick i edited a lot of photos so it's nice having that if i come over to my second page i have more presets and more things like reset all let's just say i don't like this color grade at all let's reset everything and start from scratch undo bring my preset back if i want to change it to my black fade preset that's custom for me i got that set to that button i have another one of my presets called the cuts three set to this button i could just undo undo back to the original color i can zoom out i can zoom in with the touch of a button scroll right here let's zoom in let's zoom back out easy as that right here i have masking so if i want to quickly set you know a linear gradient pull it up right here and make the bottom of that photo really dark i got that just like that as soon as i'm done right there i come over here to the dial pad hit that button for okay we're good but really the coolest thing about this dial pad console is this button right here if i hit this button right here i have all of these different adjustments that i can just hover my mouse over and I can easily use this dial pad right here to dial in my adjustments to perfection rather than even using my mouse. This is crazy right here. So I can boom, turn this up all the way or I can bring it back down like I like it. Then once I'm done making those adjustments, I just hit this button, it closes it out. Then I hit this button and I'm done with my mask. Then after I'm done with the mask, I'm back to the settings of the full picture. I can easily just click this button again and select off from the actions ring like the contrast. And then this dial wheel now controls the contrast and I can dial it in to perfect perfection as said before. So that's the MX Creative Console and that's how I'm using it to make my editing all across the board faster. I personally got the Graphite Console because I like it but it does come in pale gray. This two device MX Creative Console should be available today and it's coming in at $199 USD. I highly recommend checking this tool out for yourself because it's truly something you have to experience to understand the value that it brings. Truth be told, I honestly thought that these were a complete gimmick until Logitech brought me to New York City and showed a live presentation of these things and opened my eyes. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can check this MX Creative Console out and pick it up if you choose to. Thanks for checking in to the video and uh, deuces.